Herr Professor Braungart, ich konnte mir nicht vorstellen, dass ich die Gelegenheit hätte, mit Ihnen zu, zu sprechen. It's a pleasure for us to have you in our school at the TED Plaza de Tibeles in, in Madrid. I am going to, to, uh, to, to ask some, some uh, very simple questions. Could you please explain us what Cradle to Cradle means? Why you talk about um, the next industrial revolution when you talk about Cradle to Cradle? Traditionally, people think from cradle to grave, which means the whole planet will be a graveyard. When you now try to minimize destruction, when you reduce, avoid, then you only make the whole planet a little later a whole graveyard. This is why we need to reinvent everything to go into biological or technical cycles. There is no waste anymore. Everything becomes good instead of less bad. We, we say we are protecting the environment when we destroy less. It's that please protect the environment, don't use your car that often. Please protect the environment, reduce your water consumption. But you don't protect, you only destroy less. It's the same if I would tell you, please protect your child, beat your child only three times instead of five times. You don't protect, you only reduce destruction. But being less bad, we are far too many people on this planet. When you see that the biomass of termites, of ants, is so much bigger than of human beings, and because these little insects make all their material flows available again, yeah, they equal in their calorie consumption about 30 billion people. We are not too many because these ants or termites only live a few months. So we don't need to apologize for it to be on this planet. We can look at a child and say, how nice that you're here, welcome to the planet. Not could you reduce your ecological mm. footprint, mm. Uh, could you reduce your amount of waste. Uh, when you feel guilty, you're not creative. Could you please give us some examples um, about how industry and business are changing and why they uh, have any way to change in the way you are proposing? Right now I'm mostly focusing on the Netherlands because uh, the Netherlands are the most evolved European culture in a certain way because of high population density and of a permanent threat by nature. The house I live in Rotterdam is minus 17 meters below, below sea mm -hmm. level. If you would talk about Muscle Earth, <laughs> like Prince Charles, yeah, the next flood would take me. So it's about learning from nature, but in a partnership, not romanticizing nature. Mm -hmm. Because when you romanticize nature as mother, the child is always bad. The strongest carcinogens are still natural chemicals, the most toxic substances are still natural ones. But nature is not stupid, we can learn from nature as our partner. So we now reinvent all the products which see around us and we can include big companies like Acton or Bell, like DSM, like Philips, mm -hmm. yeah, but as well small companies. We, For the biological cycle, we first developed the first toilet paper now, just two years ago, mm -hmm. designed for your behind and to leave it behind. Uh -huh. Because we need to get phosphate back. Phosphate is the most critical element of all of it. Because we cannot have teeth, we cannot build bones when we don't take up phosphate. So the to toilet paper needs to be designed for the sewage sludge. And so you can make biological systems work without... With one kilogram toilet paper right now, you're contaminating up to five million liters of water higher than drinking water standards, just with one kilogram. Things are never designed for the biosphere or the technosphere. But so we do it differently. We now uh, showed the first TV set in human history, which is designed for indoor use. Can you mm -hmm. imagine? Uh, it's had a, it has about 50,000 times lower emissions than any other TVs it ever made. Mm -hmm. And no PVC in it, no chlorinated substances, no halogenated, yeah, really new things. Or as the first vacuum cleaner for indoor use. So we make now high-tech products, but as well very simple things, like which sound simple, but are very complex at the beginning. We did the first bra, the first underwear plaque, which you can put on your skin for you which is designed for skin contact. Mm -hmm. Before we had to say the opposite of Henry, Henry Ford. Henry Ford said you can have any color as long as it's black. We had to say you can have any color as long as it's not black. Mm -hmm. Now we have a black which you can put on your skin. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. We haven't yet adopted two methods in Spain. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm convinced that we should it. Uh, what would you recommend us? What is important is to define goals. That's why it's the difference between efficiency and effectiveness. Efficiency means doing things right, but effectiveness means what is the right thing. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is positive goals, like to say, look, 
right now, if you take a normal house in Spain and you compare the air quality in the house compared with the outside air in Madrid, you find that the indoor air quality is three to eight times worse than outside urban air because nothing in the building is designed for indoor use. So if you would say, in 10 years we want to have buildings where indoor air quality is better than outside air, it would lead to a lot of innovation. Like out of this in Netherlands, we develop paint which is cleaning air, not just not stinking. Yeah. We have carpets on the market which are uh, behaving like our lung. Why should I inhale that stuff and clean the air with my lung when I can use a carpet for that? So if we need to say in three years we want to have paper bag for biological systems. Right now paper is a toxic piece of toxic waste, never mm. designed for recycling. In five years we need to get all the phosphate back because phosphate is so critical. There's far more radioactivity being mined by the phosphate industry that's used in all nuclear power plants and spread all over the world, increasing our background contamination. We need to have positive goals, like to say, look, in five years we will make more soil than we deplete. So right now in, in Spain we are losing about 8,000 times more soil than we make. So in one year we lose the topsoil of 8,000 years. But two-thirds of all the carbon is in soil, not in oil, not in coal, in vegetation and in soil. So to make agriculture which rebuilds soil, then you have positive goals and you can invite young people to come up with ideas how to do so. That's why it's about effectiveness, to say, where do we want to be in 2020? And now the customer is my friend as well, because normally you tell, if you don't buy it, you can minimize your footprint even more. But I want to have a beneficial footprint. Yeah, in Sweden, your footprint is destruction. But in, in Spain, your footprint means the water stays long in the meadow. It's amazing. We take a North and Scandinavian approach and make a global standard of guilt management out of it. That's interesting. Uh, look, because when you have a, a very good dinner in France yeah, or in Germany or Netherlands, what do you say? That very good. Yeah. When you do the same in Spain, nobody likes this gesture. Yeah. <laughs> so why do we make a northern thing and make a one-size-fits-all standard out of it? Because of abundance of sun input, we can celebrate abundance. Look at a cherry tree in spring. No reduction, no avoidance, no minimization, no guilt management. Mm -hmm. So let's make a beneficial footprint. And we see the whole Dutch country, the whole Netherlands, are, are changing into cradle to cradle, the whole country. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, provinces like Limburg, Friesland uh, are all changing. All the universities are changing. It, it, there are already 270 companies doing cradle to cradle work. We are very optimistic to make the Netherlands a blueprint and for China, for India, that they can copy it. We see the same in Denmark. Yeah. So in Denmark, I had a meeting with the 30 biggest companies of Denmark, yeah, world famous companies, and uh, like Lego, like Maersk, like uh, yeah, uh, Danfoss, all these great international brands. And she said, we listen to you for one hour, and then we talk for one hour, and then we tell you what we do. Yeah. And then they came back after 10 minutes and said, we do this. We are not talking like the Dutch. We do things, we are Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> and now whole Denmark is changing into cradle to cradle. Uh -huh. Because it's very easy, as soon as people understand that less bad is no good, mm -hmm. they don't want to continue to be less bad. Mm -hmm. and there are only five ways to control people to be less bad. But there are millions of ways to support people to be good. Mm -hmm. and that's why we don't need to apologize for being on this planet. We can celebrate the human footprint, but we need to design it. We need to reinvent everything from the beginning. Therefore. Um, uh, chemistry is not that important. It's far more um, how people look at their own cultural and social aspects. Yeah. Look, for example, in the United States, people have six times more one-way products yeah, than we have in Europe. Do you know why they have it? From my side, it's mostly because of the suppressed cultural uh, habits. Yeah. When sexuality is so much suppressed, people need to live it in all different uh, other areas. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, like, for example, Americans don't talk about uh, primary raw, mat raw materials, secondary raw materials. They talk about virgin materials. Sure. Yeah? The mm. Spanish do that as well. Mm -hmm. They talk about virgin materials. Mm -hmm. yeah? And amazingly, you know, you cannot recycle a virgin. Yeah? So the Americans cannot use something which has been touched by somebody else. Mm -hmm. yeah? So they need to have one-way products. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But you can learn on the other side from the Catholic Church, for example, when something has been touched, yeah, then it needs to come from a saint, mm -hmm. then it's a relic. Yeah. So now in, we put in 100,000 pairs of recycled shoes, yeah, one pair of a modern saint in it. Yeah. Like Dirk Nowitzki, for example, yeah, or like uh, 
a famous Barcelona football player. You know? Now it has the holy sweat of the saint in it. So this is why it's not about chemistry. Everybody thinks cradle to cradle is about chemistry because I'm a chemist. But this is like somebody in Chicago said, if you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Yeah. So I'm a chemist, but the cultural aspects are far more exciting and, and they are as important because if it, it, cradle to cradle is not about brainwashing people and tell you must do this. You know, like in Germany, people tell you, you must have fun. You know? mm -hmm. No, <laughs> it's not like that. It's about celebrating life, celebrating mm -hmm. creativity, enjoying life. People want to be good if you give them the opportunity to be good. Only when people have fear, when they feel insecure, when you question their existence, then they become greedy and angry, and then they want to grab everything. Normally, they give away things because they like that others feel well as well. So this is why we know it's no longer about sustainability. We can now use 30 years of blaming and shaming for innovation. We can reinvent everything to be good instead of less bad. Thanks very much, Professor Braungart. It was a great opportunity to speak with you, and I hope you, jo you enjoy your time in Madrid. I hope you enjoy your great uh, work which you do here with your colleagues, because you're a really a center for innovation for Spain, and I'm really honored to be here. Thank, Thank you very so much. much.